A candidate in Westchester County is on the verge of pulling off a major upset. He ran a write-in campaign for mayor of affluent Harrison. And as of now, he's leading the incumbent by one single vote. And tonight, a recount is underway. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has the story. Harrison, New York, widely considered an ideal suburb. The median price of a home for sale, $2.2 million. So who's going to call the shots at Village Hall next year? I've been trying to find out for the last few weeks, you know, who won, who won, and nobody knows. Former Mayor Ron Belmont thinks he won. Belmont ran a write-in campaign and appears to have squeaked past incumbent Mayor Richard Dionisio. The final margin to be determined, but right now Belmont is on top by a single vote. We came through. I believe we came through. We won the election and now we have to go through the process to formalize. That process is happening inside the county board of elections, where write-in ballots are being recounted and in some cases challenged. Some voters did not write in Belmont's complete name. Close to 150 votes that are in dispute that may say R. Belmont, Ronnie Belmont, uh, Mr. Belmont. So hoping that they count and they should count because that was the intent of the voter to vote for me. It's the second municipal election in Westchester this year to be decided by just a tiny handful of votes. I think it's supremely important to get out and vote. It's your right as an American citizen. The recount is expected to drag into Tuesday, and then there's also a court challenge over Belmont's eligibility given Harrison's recently enacted term limits law. This one is days, if not weeks, away from being settled. At the Board of Elections in White Plains, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And Democrat Mark Jaffe also ran strong, finishing third by fewer than 200 votes.